Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to light an interior window scene in Cinema 4D. So, um, let's get started. First, we are going to just uh, put all of our um, scene into a null object just to make it easier so it doesn't take up as much space in the um, uh, in the content browser. So, you can just do this by selecting everything you're seeing and hitting Alt G, and that'll put it all into a null. So, okay, once that's done, we're going to start and we're going to make the sky. So I'm going to just uh, click up here, add in a sky object. And this is just going to allow us to apply a material to the sky. And uh, yeah, let's make that material now. So we're going to be using an HDR. And you can get these. They're really good for making natural soft lights in your scene. And just, they're good. It's the best way to do your lighting for an interior scene. And even exterior scenes as well. Anyway. Make a new material, and we're going to open it up. So in the color, we're going to make that completely white. And just disable the reflectance. And we're going to enable luminance. And in the texture, I'm going to be using an HDR. So you can get an HDR. I'll leave a link in the description from where I got mine. Um, Polygon is where I get all my textures. They're really good. Um, you can get a free demo. This video isn't sponsored or anything like that. Um, just saying it's a good place to get your textures. And the HDR is there as well, so I'll leave a link to... And the HDR is completely free as well, so I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And yeah, so in the Luminance channel, we're going to use this HDR. And it's just um, sun, clouds, it's the sky, it's nothing special. We're going to use that in our Luminance channel. And um, color is completely white, and we get this kind of nice, like, white um, material with a Luminance channel that will emit... The HDR. So essentially, the sky, the, the 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 scene will be lit up by um, the sky. That'll be blue and the sun and um, the clouds and everything. So it'll have that natural light, but at the same time, we won't see the clouds and stuff. It'll just be completely white outside. So um, if you want to, you can also use the HDR in your color channel, but I'm not going to do that because I just want uh, completely white outside the um, outside the window. So. Also, go to your illumination and enable GI area light. Now, depending on your scene, you may want to bring up the strength of the GI. Um, I found that for this scene, 200% GI worked well, but that's completely dependent on your scene, so you'll have to experiment. Try first with 100%, bring it up to 150, bring it up to 200. Um, see what works for you. It's all dependent on your scene. Um, so, that's done. Now, we're just going to apply that to our sky. So, drag that over onto the sky. And we're actually going to rename this Sky Material. Okay. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a GI portal. Now, a GI portal is just going to let the light pass through uh, into the window. You just want to put this at all your windows and stuff. And I'm not going to explain it right now. Uh, all you need to know right now is that it's going to make your scene a, a bit, quite a bit better. So um, we're just going to put that by all of our windows where the light is going to enter, essentially. And um, it'll just... Yeah, anyway, we're going to put it by all our windows, which we only have one, so we're just going to, um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just adding a plane right now, and I'm scaling it up just to make sure that it covers the entire window, and that should be all good. Now, let's make the new, um, let's make the GI portal. So, new material, we'll call it GI portal, and we're going to open it up, and disable everything except um, transparency, so it's just completely transparent, no color, no reflectance, nothing. And in the illumination section, go ahead and enable GI portal, and you are done. Uh, also, we'll need to apply that material onto there. So, there we go. We are done. Um, that's it. We're going to need to change our render settings still, so we're done in the editor. I guess we're just going to have to change the render settings now. So, let's go ahead and open up the render settings. Now, um, I've got my render settings. They're all default now, so um, you're going to want to set your width to 1920 by 1080p, or... Um, alternatively, 1280 by, oh, that's not 1080, <laughs> 1080. So this is for 1080p resolution. If you want 720p resolution, your computer isn't very powerful, and you want to render a bit quicker, um, you can just use 1280 by 720 for 720p resolution. Um, and anyway, that's that. So now what we're going to do, we're going to, uh, actually first in the anti-aliasing section, we're going to set it to best. Make sure your anti-aliasing is set to best. And minimum level 2x2 two two and max level 4x4. Four four. And this is just a bit of anti-aliasing. You don't need this if you're using a physical render. You don't even have the option to. But I'm just using standard render because it is faster and um, it'll work fine for our purposes. So set your anti-aliasing to best. Minimum level 2x2, two two, max level 4x4. Four four. 
and we're gonna uh, uh, go to effect add ambient occlusion this is just a good thing to always have on your scenes it just adds a bit of realism to it that um, just adds shadows objects generating their own shadows anyway uh, go to effect and global illumination now we're gonna tweak this for an interior scene so they actually uh, cinema 40 actually comes with a good preset so I'm gonna be using the high interior high high diffuse depth that works really well I find um, but the defaults uh, I don't want sample accuracy I don't I don't really like that um, so we're gonna set the custom sample count and we're gonna set it to 128 obviously you turn this up to 256 512 or even 1024 depending on whether this is your final render if you just want a good render you can just do 128 kind of like a preview render I guess if you want your final render do 256 or 512 um, or you can just leave it like this if you want to. It's it'll only make a small difference adding lots more sample past like um, adding more samples past like 3264 is or adding more uh, adding a lot more samples above like 100 samples isn't going to do much, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, sample count 128. Light mapping, maximum depth. Now, I love turning this up really high. It will take longer to compute. It doesn't take that long anyway for me, but if you want, you can turn it up to 64, 32, or you can even leave it at 60. But I'm going to bring that up to 64 just because I want a lot of um, light mapping. Um, I, want a lot, I want a lot of depth in my light maps. Um, and that's that for over here. So now you go to your radiance cache. We'll just set up the smoothing to 60 and the color refinement to 90. And the record density, I guess you can turn that up if you want to. We'll just leave it at medium for now, though. In the light mapping section, path count. Um, now you can turn this up or down as much as you want to. I'm going to bring this up to 20,000. So there we go. 20,000. Um, you probably just leave that at 10,000. You'll be fine. I'm just bringing up the quality because um, I know that I have the capability to on this computer. It still only takes about 20 seconds to compute the light mapping, even with lots of paths. Um, and cache files, options, everything else is good. Glass slash mirror optimization. I'll turn that up just because my scene does have um, glass and does have glass so also reflective cause that cause caustics will enable that as well because I do have reflections in my scene that I just gonna enable that anyway I don't see why not and um, yeah I think that is it and yeah we're done so also reflection depth I'll turn that up to 10 just because I have reflections and shadow depth everything else that that's all good you can all leave that as as it is and um, we're done, so we'll go into our camera here, and I will just go ahead and render it, and I will leave the final result on the image, or I'll leave the final result at the end of the video, which will be in about 10 seconds, so thank you everyone for watching, so leave a like, subscribe to my channel to support me, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye!